And hello, everybody. Welcome to the Create at State podcast, A State Connections on KASU. And also, we're doing this for ASU TV, as we're going to be giving you the next several broadcasts, uh, not only on audio, but also we're doing this for ASU TV on video as well. Uh, due to the coronavirus fears and concerns that there are, uh, we're going to be doing the next several podcasts over Zoom. Uh, and so that is uh, what we're doing starting today as we're bringing in Kim Vickery, who's with Arkansas State University, and she's going to be telling us about things that are going on, and she is joining us uh, on Zoom today. Kim, thanks for joining us, and uh, welcome back to the Created State Podcast. <laughs> Thank you. Good to be here. Yeah, it's great to have you in. Uh, just wanted to kind of get your thoughts on things, how are uh, things going with, with you and your semester as uh, you're kind of adapting to the new normal of online instruction and those kinds of things? Well, you know, the, I like it and I don't like it at the same time. I, I don't know if that's possible, but uh, learning the technology and understanding, oh, I can do this. Oh, oh, well, look at this. This works. But the students are really adapting to it probably a bit faster than I am. But uh, we're having fun with it as much as we can. I do, I do miss school. You know how you can't wait till the end of the semester for summer to start? And now I'm like, okay, I'm ready for this to be over. You know, <laughs> I, you know what I'm saying? It's like, sure. uh, I miss them. I, I miss seeing their faces and I, I miss all of it. I miss my colleagues. Um, so, but yeah, you know, we're, we're hanging in there. Absolutely. But we're going to continue on with this uh, new normals. We're going to still talk about and feature research and great things that are taking place that are at Arkansas State. So tell us a little bit about the research that you're doing and how this is helping uh, to empower young girls. I have a teenage daughter, 16 years old, and that. So kind of tell us about uh, what you're working on that might be able to help uh, young teens, please. Sure. So I'm working currently on writing grants to fund um, something that we're calling, or I'm calling empowering girls through portraiture. And this has evolved from um, a personal project that I have been working on the last couple of years, where I started photographing girls and taking them and getting uh, just minimal hair and makeup and dressing them up in some lovely gowns and taking their uh, pictures, making them feel like a million bucks and uh, just having a day of them feeling beautiful and, and seeing actual proof. Wow. That's me. You know, that kind of thing. And I think it's um, something that has really taken off in that from that it evolved into something at ASU that we started with girls with cameras is what we called it. And it was a Saturday for area girls to come from ages 13 to 17. And they came to campus for the day and we talked how to use a camera um, and not only in front of it, but also behind the camera. So we empowered the girls with through technology because the cameras these days are not like the old days um, when I learned, right. but with film, um, but also that they teamed together to work together. So they were empowering each other. Uh, you know, you are in one, they would switch. One girl would be in front of the camera, one girl would be behind the camera, and then they would switch and they have to uh, empower each other into get them, getting them to feel comfortable, um, to relax and not be so posed um, or, um, sort of fake in front of it. They had to really let guards down and um, be photographed as who they are. And then they learned to, to use the camera for art projects and um, some sort of fine art uh, techniques um, through this Saturday um, Girls With Cameras that we started at ASU. So I'm taking this to another level. My idea here is to take what we've learned from these past couple of, um, I guess, endeavors and making it something larger in that I want to include the entire state and I want to include girls, same age range, but I want to include them for 
um, all colors and shapes and sizes and ethnic backgrounds and um, rural areas and more populated areas and just a cross cultural, cultural um, mix of girls in this age group. I would like to take it in a, in a way that we can have large prints. These girls would not only learn how to take the images of each other, but they would also edit um, for exhibition in a fine art gallery. So these would be large prints and this gallery show, this exhibition would travel around the state. And I want the girls all over the state to be able to go see their work and themselves in a gallery. And, you know, that's me, or I did that. And teach these girls um, not only to empower their talents and their strengths um, in the arts, but also um, them, themselves as this is me. And then people would come and see it and say, wow, that's amazing. And just learn the story behind how all of this evolved and teach these young girls how you can make a good living uh, being a fine artist and how portraiture empowers girls and then women as they grow up and hopefully right. start this cycle um, of empowerment. You know, this is a fantastic idea and I'm just really curious. How did you come up with the idea? What kind of tell us about that if you don't mind? Well, I, you know what, that's a lot of different things, but mostly it's about how uncomfortable you feel in front of a camera. I feel really uncomfortable now this is being videoed, but it's something that I think it starts when you are um, maybe through teenage years, you know, and then you grow up to be women and how many moms and wives go, oh, I don't want to be, in, don't take a picture of me or let me stand in the back or, you know, no, no, you just have your pictures made. I'm just going to stand over here. Um, it's, it's something that I noticed being an adult and, how important it is for you to have your photos made. Your children don't care if your hair is not done, you don't have your makeup on, or, you, or you're not the weight that you think you should be. Um, when you're gone, they don't care about that stuff. And you have to remember or think about that portraits are for other people, not necessarily for you. And so how do I, how do I make that enticing for girls and women to have their portrait made. And a lot of that is you have to give them confidence. You have to make them relaxed and comfortable. And they have, it's a lot of trust. It's a very intimate thing to have your portrait made. And I think personality has a lot to do with it. Um, I think, I know from personal experience, I'm more comfortable of a woman taking my photo than I am a man. Um, and I can't be that different from everybody else. So surely the things that I feel and inadequacies that I feel about myself, everyone feels that same way. And then the last couple of years I've learned, yes, everybody feels that way. Um, and I thought maybe if I could start with girls because I have a teen girl and I see how the culture with teen girls can be the, the negative and the positive. And I just sort of, you know, let's start here so that they grow up to be women who also create that positive culture. And so how has this been going by way of, of helping young, young women uh, with this to be able to kind of uh, empower them to be able to kind of help them with their confidence and, and other things where they may struggle sometimes, or we all struggle with confidence issues, especially in our, in, when we're in our teens. Uh, yeah. but, but sometimes it could be a challenge for teenage girls. And as I said, I know I have one uh, who I love very dearly. Uh, how has this been going by way of trying to help uh, help uh, young girls with empowerment and with helping with their confidence? Well, I had asked for uh, quotes from the moms after the girls got back because, you know, they're always going to be very polite to me and say, oh, Miss Kim, this was so much fun. And, you know, and, and I do believe them, but I kind of wanted it to last once they got home. I wanted to hear... So I got quotes from moms and moms would send me, you know, uh, my daughter absolutely had a great time. She struggles with uh, body image. 
and you made her feel amazing and confident and they have the images to be able to go back and look and remember what a fun day this was. Um, they come back, they want to come back. And when we started this with the university for the girls mm -hmm. with cameras, we have a waiting list and we can own how many, you know, girls in our, in our spaces on campus and to be able to do this. And they're only that can actually participate uh, just, you know, space, if nothing else, um, and time. And, and how many did you say that, that you could have uh, that they're kind of involved in this? Right. Well, with, with, I do, when I first started it, we just did it in the afternoon. However many girls, I just put a, a call out there who's interested. And then at the university, uh, we had 20 and now we have a waiting list um, of our 20. And, you know, then I thought, you know, this could, we can make this bigger. You know, we could, we could do something with this and, and reach not only a broader audience, but that many more girls, we can show them how beautiful they are, you know, inside and out, and we can capture it. And then, oh, not only that, they can be the ones creating that confidence in other girls. And that's, you know, that's kind of hope, you know, where I just see it going. I don't see how in the world we cannot continue something like this. You know, the only thing that sort of stops us are, are, are physical things like spaces and sure. how many faculty can get away and um, how many cameras we have and how, you know, I want to take this to where um, it's an exhibition in galleries. And then, you know, there's the question of, you know, how can we get a large format printer? Or how can we pay for ink? You know, the dresses that these girls dress up in when I do the portraiture, um, they're just from thrift stores. Uh, I don't, they're not, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollar gowns. They're just feminine, powerful um, clothing items that make these girls feel amazing. And you'll be able to see these images. Uh, you can go to our website at kasu.org. We'll also uh, uh, try to edit them into this uh, as when people uh, are able to play this back, they're able to see. Uh, but some of the images are just out, just fan fantastic, outstanding uh, of that. Is, is that um, the, the, the pictures of some of the girls that are in there, were they taken by other girls in the class or did you take those uh, pictures? The, the, I can't remember exactly which images you have, but um, some of them, most of them are taken by me and edited by me. And those are the ones that are going into the grant to show. There are, there is a couple of, or there are a couple of pictures that were taken by the girls when we did the um, Saturday things on campus. And if I don't, if I didn't include those, I can include those. Um, and then there are, there's a, I think there's a photo of me lecturing to a girls, uh, to girls at one of the high schools about this. And then there is a group shot of one of the Saturdays where we have the faculty and um, uh, area girls that are in the actual um, girls with cameras. But um, the pictures that you have are part of my grant proposal um, so that the people who award the grants can see the final, the final image. You know, some, you know, galleries aren't going to be really keen on agreeing to show an exhibition until they see what the work looks like. So um, what you have, I think, is part of the grant package. Hey. Right. And and I'm trying to see if we can uh, if if we can do I don't know if others will be able to see this or not. Uh, I, I hope so, but it, it I know it's something that, that you're able to see. But what I could do is is I could probably see if I could turn the camera around here so people could okay. see it. I'm I'm hopeful that maybe I can do that, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to do that or not. You're but, virtual uh, you know, <laughs> Like, we yeah right we'll, we'll we'll go we'll go all around here we're on a uh, on that but uh, for those who are, who are not able to see we'll be able to put those up on uh, on our website as well and we'll be able to try to get uh, to get that there but it, it, it's really fantastic about this this idea um, if you had a, a chance to be able to talk to other uh, people about you know like other universities and others about this something like this going statewide. I have not at the university level, I have on the professional level. So I have photographers that have 
um, when I tell them about this project, they said, I would love to be a part of it. And they would volunteer their time. Uh, professional hair and makeup salons also have heard about it. And they would, and they would say, um, I would love to be a part of this. You know, can I donate my services? Um, I've had um, other women donate, hey, I've got this dress in my closet that I haven't worn in, you know, 20 years, but it's very timeless in the way it looks. And I, if you would like it, you can have it. You know, I've had brand new dresses um, donated from other women that still had tags on them. Wow, that's that's fantastic. So um, I, I hope that everything will will continue uh, as you get you know closer to you know maybe putting something like this on uh, statewide. Uh, obviously, with Created State, I know this is a perfect opportunity for you to be able to do that. Kind of talk about uh, your partnership with Created State and all of this. Well, um, the it's a platform that encourages uh, students and faculty to be able to not only promote um, research and creative excellence, but um, to present it, uh, to educate people who maybe aren't that familiar with research. Oh, these are the things they're doing. Um, and what I like about it is the fact that it gives a platform for the arts. Um, you know, research is traditionally, people have the perception that it's mostly scientific and, um, you know, and maybe that doesn't resonate with everyone, but um, the arts is something that um, I think people see and go, that's amazing, or how can I do that, or be able to do that, or I was never creative enough to do that, which, you know, it hopefully it helps people understand, yes, you are creative to do this, or you, you can do it just in a different way. Um, this downtime that we're going through right now is, uh, for a lot of people, puts their mind uh, in a, just a state of rest. And there's been research out there that shows that your creativity levels spike um, when you're not constantly multitasking. And, sure. um, you know, so I'm grateful that A-State actually offers opportunities um, like this for, for not only faculty, but also students to be so able let's to do that. That's that's fantastic, and and you know, a state definitely created state symposiums a great way to be able to do that. Let me let me see if we can try this. Um, we have one picture up right now. Uh, I hope that you can see this uh, right now. We're gonna, we're working on that. Tell me a little bit about this picture. Uh, this is uh, for those who are on audio only. This is a picture of a brunette who is here, uh, who's all in black. I got, you know, kind of tell us a little bit about uh, who this is and a little bit about this picture. Sure. This young lady is um, goes to uh, Nettleton High School. She was in junior high when this was taken, and we had her hair and her makeup done. What I asked, uh, I asked all the girls to bring or to wear just a black top and just some black leggings. And what you see around her looks like a dress, but it's not. It's actually just fabric. And this is taken. Um, uh, her best friend is to the right of her, or maybe her left, my right. And the, her, she's throwing the fabric up in the air and I'm photographing it. And all I'm doing is asking, um, this young lady to pose how to, um, I'm directing her hands and her face and the look on her face and, um, trying to make her feel as comfortable as possible. Um, in front of my camera. And when I know I have something really good, I actually show the back of the camera to the girls and they, it just, it's like it fuels them and they just get more excited and more excited and they just go, Oh, I love that. And how often do you hear girls say that they love a photo of themselves? So it's just meant to encourage them to keep going it keep loosening up, keep being more comfortable um, with me and in front of the camera, because look at how amazing you are just by being yourself. And all of the clothes and the makeup and stuff are just sort of um, not necessarily to sh show them in what they really aren't, but it's really more of providing that confidence um, that they need to be able to shine in front of the camera. So this is 
very little editing. This is this beautiful girl um, feels and looks exactly this way. And uh, this is a Created State podcast and also vodcast. As we're doing this over Zoom, I'm with Kim Vickery. For those of you who are listening on audio only, you can check out these photos on our website at kasu.org. Here's another one that's uh, set up here with a blonde that is here. Kind of tell us a bit about this, uh, if you don't mind. We'll just kind of go through the next couple of, uh, of images. Sure. Right. And um, I'm not giving these girls names because I, I, I don't know if... Um, that's fine. I want that. So I'm just going to say, so this young lady um, uh, came to me, her, her mom came to me and said, I, this, I know what you, you've been doing. You've been posting these on social media. Um, I'd like for my daughter to do this. And I'm like, perfect. And this particular setup, the, the chair is just like, if you, what you can't see in the chair she's sitting on is there, ba there's barely a bottom to it. Um, and the dress that she has on, um, I had someone that I did not know contact me on Facebook and say, I have this dress. This is a vintage, I don't know how old this dress is. It's probably 120 years old. That just happens to be in really good shape. And it's just big and feminine. And um, I said, yeah, I'd love to, to take it and apply it, you know, for these girls to choose to wear. And um, in the background, it's just, that's actually just a concrete wall. Um, there's not really anything special about the location and uh, we just took some string and we held up this little backdrop that um, I created from a just a hobby store um, putting fake flowers and um, getting her comfortable in front of my camera is something that takes patience and encouragement and they have to uh, trust me and believe me um, right. and I I genuinely see the beauty and the power and the confidence that these girls have. And then when I can get that shot in one photo, I show them on the camera and they're just, they, like I said, they just feed off of it and they just, it's amazing. It just, it just shoots into a completely different direction. Right. And this is kind of in a pink. Uh, so people will be able to see that. Uh, let's go to the next one here. Um, yeah, and this is more, this is more on a black. Is this the same girl or a different girl? Uh, it's the same girl that's in pink. Um, yeah. uh, she had brought um, a black top and then black leggings. Like I'd asked them to all come, you know, none of these girls bring their own clothes. Um, and this is a, the same fabric that I had before. And I think her mom is on the other side, throwing the fabric up to try to get that glamour um, look um, that these girls, you know, love what they, they do with their own selfies. Um, but this is, um, taken in the same location, same type fabric. They don't have anything special wearing, um, to the shoots. I take care of all of that stuff. And yeah, uh, she has a different hairstyle. Um, we just kind of pin it up. I mean, if you could see the stuff, <laughs> um, in real life, you know, you just see like, yeah. we have like clips and barrettes and, you know, just whatever I can to put it up in a pinch. This is not like a Hollywood setup at all. Um, sure. And they all kind of start out going, okay. But then they see the photos and they go, okay, you know, I get it now. Yeah. And that, and that really takes an art to be able to take something and have the eye to be able to know how to do a shoot, because I know I wouldn't be able to, to know how to be able to, create uh, beautiful photos like these. Well, uh, I, I hope that that's what I bring to the table. So I am a graphic designer. I am an art director. I've had my own yeah. advertising agency. I've worked in uh, advertising agencies between undergrad and grad school. So I tell everybody that I shoot like a designer and I art direct uh, like an art director because I've done it. And I think that's what helps. And I think my personality um, hopefully my personality helps get these girls um, comfortable and confident. I think if I were a man, I would not get the same images. I would probably get beautiful images as well, but not the same images or same type of images um, that I can get, get. And the fact that I have a daughter the same age, um, I can tap into that, that other people might, might have a little bit more uh, trouble doing so. It would, uh, I'll, We'll go back to that one thing. Let's go to the next photo. And then there's one, there's one uh, question I want to ask you. Tell me about this, uh, the, about this photo, if you don't mind, please. Sure. 
this dress is just a thrift store dress that I think I paid ten dollars um, off the rack. And one of the things that I do is I never want to have dresses or outfits that don't fit a girl. Um, I never want a girl who is a normal sized girl, a size two dress, and she try to put it, she tries to put it on, and it doesn't fit because that confidence drops quicker than you can imagine because it doesn't fit. So she automatically has this body image uh, feeling, you know, you know, I don't, I don't fit in it. Um, I'm not, I must not be beautiful enough to wear this beautiful dress. So all of the clothes that I have are, are larger clothes. Um, I want every girl to feel like they can wear anything that's in my studio. So I have clamps, what you can't see are the clamps that are um, just like they do on mannequins in uh, retail clothing stores their clamps along to make sure that it fits um this is one of those dresses um it's really big on this girl but she has you can't tell in the image um she i'm just asking her so the prompt i'm giving her to give me this pose um is i just said just be a little girl just twirl around in your dress and that's what she's doing wow that's great let's go to this next one here, this is a close-up shot. Yes. So um, this is all natural light. I don't, I don't have a giant fancy uh, setup um, for these girls. I don't want it to be intimidating with all of this fancy equipment. Um, I, so what you see, her, she is actually looking towards a door that's open and has this beautiful light coming in. Um, I just took these flowers that were half price at a hobby store, um, hot glue them together. And this is just a, an accessory to um, her that evokes more of, the, uh, of her being a girl and feminine and beautiful. And that's, that's the headpiece that it, that, that's on her. Fantastic. Let me see if there is. Oh, this this is you, uh, kind of kind of talking uh, to students at Nettleton. Is that right? At the East uh, East think, Lab, there, Nettleton East High. Lab, and I think Harrisburg had come in for this talk as well. Um, and again, they're they're all girls, and um, we were talking about. Uh, they were seeing some of the images that you are showing now, and talking about how um, the arts and you can make a great living um, doing, you know, really it's all about hustle. You know, how bad you want it. You can be um, yeah. as successful as you want to be or, or not. And, and, you know, the, the job is irrelevant, you know, on what you do, but you should do what you love. Um, otherwise you're going to be miserable. And I was sort of going through successful um, artists and designers. Well, we really appreciate you coming up and talking about this today. This has been fantastic uh, to be able to talk to you about what you're doing here on the Created State podcast and also on the podcast today. Before we let you run, anything else you would like to add about this, please? This is just fantastic. Great, great work that you're doing. Thank you. Um, I, you know, I certainly can't do it without the girls. Um, you know, so I'm just glad that um, there is an interest. Uh, I, I guess I just... Um, I'm sort of powering through this just to make this grow. I want this to be um, outside of our community. I want it to be statewide. And then after state, let's go country. And after country, let's go bigger. So, um, you know, it's a movement. And there are other women photographers that are doing the same thing um, out there. And we are supporting each other uh, with things like this. And I want that to trickle down to these girls. So these girls grow up to be empowered women. Thank you so much for your time. And uh, we'll be talking to you soon about that, getting another update here on the uh, Created State podcast. Thanks so much. Thank you for having me. Kim Vickery joining us here over uh, Zoom as we're going to be doing the next several podcasts over Zoom as uh, we're doing that. Kind of a new way of us doing the Created State podcast, but still a great way for us to be able to let you know about some of the fantastic research that's still going on. You know, COVID-19 may have shut down some parts of Arkansas State for, you know, temporarily as, as uh, online instruction is still going on, but the research aspect still continues. 
And we'll be telling you more about that as we go along here over the next several podcasts. For the Created State Podcast and for A-State Connections, I'm Jonathan Reeves. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for joining us as always.